What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Norrin Rad 89 Here it is Saturday. It's the weekend, and it is pay-per-view weekend. We have two big pay-per-views, one for AEW and one for WWE this weekend. But right now, for Saturday, it is Night of Champions, and we have our full card right here. I have it courtesy of Twitter and WWE that we have, like I said, the card right here. And we're going to kind of right now just do a quick prediction video for what is going to happen, hopefully, tonight, or who's going to win and stuff. So... For me, let's just start off right away with the big dog. Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. What do we think is going to happen? I actually think this is their second meetup right now. And I think Brock Lesnar is going to take this one. I think we're going to possibly set up a, you know, Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar three match. And that one's going to have like a big stipulation, like an Iron Man or a Hell in a Cell or something like that. So I actually think Brock Lesnar is going to take this second match between them. Then we have Mustafa Ali versus Guntar for the Intercontinental title. And I think, you know, I love Mustafa Ali, but I think Gunther's going to take this one and keep the title because, yeah, he's he's very dominant and proving to be one of the best Intercontinental champions that we've had in recent years. Then we have the, what is it, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are going to take on the big dog Roman Reigns and Solo Sequoia and... I really hope. I'm going for KO, you know what I mean? KO and Sami Zayn. I'm going for those guys. I really want them to keep the titles. Then we got Trish versus Becky Lynch, and I'll never pick against my girl Trish. Trish Stratus all day, every day. I will never pick against her. So, Becky Lynch, I'm sorry. You can go suck it. That's like just Trish is going to take it, you know? I'm hoping so. And then we have today. We are going to crown our first ever new world heavyweight champion for the new title that Triple H introduced and Seth Rollins. We're going with Seth Rollins. That's going to be against AJ Styles. And yeah, my pick's going to be Seth to come out of that one. Next, we have the Raw Women's Championship is on the line with Bianca Belair and Asuka. And I'm going Asuka on this one. I, I love Bianca Belair. And I think they're going to set up something, hopefully, maybe an awesome WrestleMania match with them and some, something like that. We've already had that, but I don't know, or maybe a, an exciting SummerSlam rematch and Bianca will get the belt back or something like that. But I think Asuka's going to take this one. And then we have Natalia versus Rhea Ripley for the SmackDown Women's title. And I think, you know, Rhea's going to take this one. She could possibly lose it to Natalia and then maybe get her rematch on SmackDown and Rhea will just win it back. But I think Rhea Ripley's going to take that. So in terms of titles... Yeah, I don't think any titles are going to change hands besides maybe the Raw Women's one. Asuka's going to get that. And then, like I said, we're crowning our first ever World Heavyweight Champion for the new title. And I think that one's going to be Seth Rollins. So, yes, it's a big day. You know, the Saudi Arabia show starts pretty soon. So be sure on Peacock, if you're subscribed to that, go check it out live. <laughs> They're going to have like an hour, like... Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. They're going to have like an hour little catch-up show kind of thing where they, you know, hype up all the matches and stuff like that. And then it's freaking match time and I'm, I'm pretty excited this is going to be a fun night of champions in terms of the match that i'm most excited for that i think will probably be the most entertaining i think it's going to be Sami Zayn and kevin owens and roman and solo i think they're just they're so built up now and i know some people are kind of tired of that whole you know that feud of Sami fighting the table and all that kind of stuff but i'm excited to see what happens because we might we're probably going to get some run-ins from the usos and something traumatic is going to happen or drama you know maybe Jay will actually side with Sammy in this match or something like that. So, yeah, we'll see. And leave your comments and predictions down below for Night of the Champions. Are you going to be watching today? Or are you just going to wait to see, like, the highlights and see who wins and stuff? Let me know in the comments so we can discuss. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.